So you might be trying to figure out the gestures and or how to use gestures within the FaceTime, you know, actual new FaceTime update. Now, doing this is very basic and it doesn't really take too much time. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to open up your FaceTime application and you want to FaceTime somebody. Now, you're going to have to remember that, you know, this has to be on iOS 17 or newer and your iPhone has to be either a iPhone 11 or newer to do this or iPhone 12 or newer. If you have an iPhone 12 or newer, then you'll basically be able to do this. If not, it's not going to work for you. Now, what you can do is you can go ahead and start calling somebody and either that person will pick up or they won't pick up but there's a couple of FaceTime gestures that you can basically use. So what you can do is you can give a thumbs up and that will usually trigger a certain application, a certain thing. And then if you do another thing, that'll certain that'll do another thing too. Now, if you make your way over to your specific page here, you should be able to see a few different things. So you can see I'm in this specific, you know, FaceTime right now. If I were to give some sort of like a thumbs up, you should be able to see that it'll give some sort of like reaction or something like that. As you can see, it gave a little reaction right there, a little gesture. And there's a lot of them that you can basically do. So if I were to make my way over to this specific Mac Rumors article, it gives you a massive list of everything that you can basically do within this, you know, within the specific gestures. So if you give a thumbs up, it gives you a thumbs up emoji. If you give a thumbs down, it gives a thumbs down emoji. So if we go back into our FaceTime call, you can see if I give like some sort of thumbs down, it'll give some sort of thumbs down reaction, hopefully. So it looks like it's probably not going to work. But for sure, the thumbs up one works, which is funny. So that one works most of the time. And there's also a lot of these. So this is the massive list that we have right now. So I'll let you guys kind of like, you know, pause in this video. And then all these reactions, as long as you have an iPhone on iOS 17 or newer, and you have a, you know, iPhone that's either like, what is it? Like iPhone 12 or newer, you should be able to do that within FaceTime. So that's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.